Fossil and its subsidiary Skagen have been making e-ink smartwatches for a couple generations now. The last release was the Fossil Hybrid HR smartwatch. This unit continues that tradition of not having an e-ink screen, but instead having an e-ink circular backdrop with real mechanical watch hands. And we must say, the Fossil Gen 6 has never looked more real. This is definitely one of the most non-smartwatch looking smartwatches we've ever seen. Smartwatches traditionally look very techy, black, squared off, curved displays and all that stuff. However, they go the opposite route with this unit, looking more realistic and classy, utilizing genuine leather straps and the shiniest finish I think I've ever seen. So let's go through what all these buttons do and see what it looks like in the real world. This watch is really nice to hold in your hands. It looks super real. And I know a lot of people say, well, what do you mean real? And typically, fossil smartwatches, which we will just bring in for comparison's sake, just for a second, is this one. This was the traditional hybrid HR, and you can see it looks super techy. It's squared off and blocky, and it just looks very, you know, something you would buy at an electronic shop, whereas this looks like something you would buy at a watch store. I'm going to leave this right here for you guys to just peek at every once in a while out of focus. So it has three buttons on it. It has the button on the top, which triggers Alexa right out of the gates, and you can select this to be connected with Alexa. But no, you can't do anything on Alexa on this. You need your phone because you can't say Alexa turn on lights and this connects to the actual lights that that can't happen you need your phone to facilitate everything on it so that's something you're gonna have to do press that to go home and the bottom button will show the notification so this is gonna show when you have any messages when you have any whatsapps coming in etc if you long press the top button what that does is actually turns off the backdrop and that's really cool because you can go kind of incognito in a way. It's like, eh, no, I don't have an e-ink smartwatch. This isn't electronics. No, no, see, physical hands, nice, nice, uh, genuine leather strap. So it's when you just want to turn off from the electronics of having your, well, electronic watch. But that kind of defeats the purpose because why would you want that when you went as far as to buy this? And it's not cheap. You can long press it again and that turns everything back on. You see the little shoe for the... Uh, the steps and you have your heart rate and your your calories burnt and all that and you can trigger this off and on as you see fit just by going like that long pressing the bottom button does nothing it just brings you back to the notifications so there's a little bit of a lost opportunity there so if you press this button in the middle this is where everything happens and this is an all new design and I like it and I don't like it I like it because it's congruent with the actual curvature of the screen which is really cool if you go there it's that if you go there it's that it's like you know it's it's in line what I don't like is having to utilize the watch mechanism every single time you want to change something the mechanism is analog it's automatic it's so instant and it's real it's tangible the screen isn't it's digital so when I push that it actually takes a long time if I push it twice I'm gonna do two inputs you can see how the watch has to say okay I'm just gonna wait till the e-ink catches up have you selected ring phone yes question mark correct condition then it moves over it's a little bit of a downside because yeah you always kind of have to wait for the inherent slowness of an e-ink screen to catch up for the hybrid nature of having the physical hands so that's a little bit of a downside and it can be a little taxing for example if i want to go one two three four down to workout one two three four it did it but you got to be precise, you got to be on point, and you can't rush it. If I go, oh, two, oh, wait, no, I want to go back. Oh, wait, where am I? Hold on. Wait. Okay, that's where I ended up. You know, you got to play that balancing game with the watch. You got to fight it a little bit. So that's a little bit of a downside. If you click into the settings, you get even more things now. So you can go over here, and you can dis do not disturb. You can change the notification size of the actual text, the vibration intensity, the heart rate on or off, the dial information on or off, the fact that you want to put it on your right or your left wrist, and you can check the about, which will actually tell you the software version, so you never have to worry about where you are sitting with software updates you can update via the application we'll show you that in a second when we get over to that but we have to go back for now in the main dial area you can see your notifications you can 
configure Alexa. You can configure music controls. So on your watch, you can click before, up, down, left, right, next song, etc. And that will obviously go through your phone again. This is not a standalone unit. You can't do anything on this in and of itself. You have to utilize your phone. As it stands, this just meters your progress. And even then, it won't save it and you can't look at your historical referable data without a phone in the way because you're not going to be able to see it on here. You can ring your phone in case you actually lose your phone. You can put it there, press that, and it starts ringing your phone like that. You can press stop. There's a lot of fancy things the hands do. And in fact, if you put it up and down like that, depending on what hand you have it on, you see everything moves away. And that's to give you a full 360 degree look at your screen and the watch hands try to get out of the way as best as possible for you to see all the pieces of data on the screen. See, I don't even know where I am. I pressed a bunch of buttons. I'm not trashing it, but that is a reality. You have to always fight those hands. Now, luckily they do have a jump. So you can jump down. You don't have to go back through the semicircle of things, which is really cool. And you know what? Things are easier to find here. So when you go to the, see, I didn't know which way I was going to go. That was actually a mistake on my end, but something that requires a learning curve. The timer and stopwatch on the older unit was actually a little bit buried. I like how they're just two clicks away. You go to the dial, you go down there and that's it. You can start your stopwatch. You can go back home and you actually can't go back to the settings. You have to go back home every time. And we'll just show you one more here, which will be, see, I missed it, which will be the timer. So if you go to the timer, you can do plus, minus, and that'll go up and down respectively, and you go back. Now there's really no way to go back to the settings each time because there would have to have just more buttons on the side, and that's just not something you can do. Now, with this, you have all of your metering at the back, and you can do your blood oxygen levels, and you can do your heart rate. The older watch only had two cameras. This one has four. On a physical constructed layer, it's not really written how much more effective that is, but they say it's improved metering. And for the most part, the more measurable cameras you have, the more capability of measuring different metrics, the better. But the only way to find that out is if we go to the application on our phone. The app is free to download and they don't throw anything at you in terms of after the fact purchases. You don't need to buy anything else after. You'll see that you actually can have multiple devices connected. We're not going to because that's silly. I don't want one on my left and one on my right, although you could do it. So in our little portfolio, we're going to choose the Nutra, which is the Gen 6. And we're already connected, so that's what we'll go with right there. In this, you have a bunch of things you can do. That's me. You can look at all that about help and wellness. This is going to be if you have any questions and my preferences and how to set up Alexa right there. You can also choose a new watch face as well. So with the watch face editor, really sky's the limit. You can go text. You can change the preview of the text. You can change the grayscale. You can go over here and you can add different long horned bulls if you want you can go over here and change the actual layout of the dial info not dial like dial a phone but the dial info so if I wanted something like this with a little bit of a gradient like that I want a cactus in the top corner I want my bull over there or I can even take a picture of myself and put it front in the screen I can go over to data and then select the feature I can add heart rates and dates and calories and active minutes blood oxygen level your favorite things based Basically, so if I put the blood oxygen level there and I put battery and I put calories, it's going to add all those respectively. You can exit out and delete everything or you can say, OK, OK, and it's going to apply it to the watch like so once it writes it over to the watch. There you go. I now have my gradient and my terribly placed cactus up top, but that's just an example. You can watch some things that are specific to the watch itself, like you can go over to their YouTube page, you can shop new arrivals. So yeah, they start to throw some things at you. And wellness is what you're going to want to look at. 
We haven't been wearing the watch because it's just a review sample, but you can check your blood oxygen levels and you can go back as well. You can go back week, you can go back month, you'll get everything charted. It's quite nice. And you can do the same thing with your calories and everything is going to be in these little graphs. You have steps, calories, time, blood oxygen, sleep, etc. And it's going to fill up respectively. So as you wear the watch and gather data, probably for a fossil to use, which, you know, is comes with the territory of being on the grid, which is totally fine. Once you can do that, you can actually look back and see how you're resting, see what your heart rate's at. And you know what? Smart watches are a very good way to get these into the hands of consumers and have Alexa listen to you. No, I'm just kidding. Although that's a reality of having you monitor certain things about your health. If you are genuinely interested in getting this to monitor your, your heart rate, maybe your heart rate's been high your whole life and you've never really consistently checked the off one time you go in to get your blood drawn. They say, oh, it's a little high, but you can't pin that against any historical data. This is a way to actually do that, utilizing smartwatches. You can go to my preferences and how to set up Alexa right there. You can choose different alarms, notification, your preferred units if you want to metric or imperial even though only 2.5 countries on the planet use imperial now and wellness tracking you can add auto detection or not and you know what you don't need the app you can just use this as a watch some people like buying this and just having it as a conversation starter it's like me with the fez watch i don't design anything on the fez watch i just wear it because it's cool and i i like it and it starts conversations and it's part of my industry yes the straps are genuine leather yes these actually do something and they do genuinely monitor different metrics about your body it's a really nice watch Overall, it's great. The glow light's been upgraded. You can double tap the glow light to turn it off or on. And it has four LEDs now, as opposed to the one or two the previous model had, and it just looked dim. It's a great watch overall. It has a ton of features. And more importantly, it's the latest edition of an e-ink smartwatch from Fossil, which is a company that has been doing it for many generations. Alexa on board, sleek looking classy design, and an all new backdrop makes this the best hybrid smartwatch yet. And they call it a hybrid because it is supposed to not look like a smartwatch while still giving you all of the features expected by one. Check it out for yourself and you can buy one below. For GoodyReader.com, this is Peter.